So it seems like someone who took a risk on bringing you pain, they're anxious. Someone is anxious about a friendship or a relationship they once had with you. This is someone who made a decision that didn't work well. Mm -hmm. It didn't work out well for them because someone gaslighted you and changed the vibe. For many of you, it seems like you have moved on from a situationship. But someone is wanting to reach out to you casually. And it looked like it may be an ex. For everyone in this situation, it doesn't have to be an ex. It could be a close relationship, a close bond that you once had with someone. But I feel in this time, many of you are not speaking. And this is why someone has an anxious mindset. Someone had an anxious mindset when it comes to thoughts about you. Someone knows they hurt you. Someone knows they hurt you and tried to drive you senseless or mad. Hmm. But now that you're not speaking, someone feels blocked, separated, distant from you. I feel this energy took a risk, made a really big mistake, but this energy is still running. Still running and being shady, even though they know they owe you an apology. Someone failed to set you as a priority. Someone disrespected this connection by being shady or not setting something as a priority. Someone took a risk and they ran. Someone knows something was a really big mistake, yet they're still in denial about their choices, which in turn leaves them in denial about you. Someone knows they disrespected this connection and hurt you, and this anxious mindset isn't just because they know they were shady, they also know they owe you an apology. I feel this energy is blocked from you, or there's you're not on speaking terms with this energy because of a lack of compromise, compassion, or a heartfelt apology or a conversation that is long overdue. I feel this energy has a fear of commitment and this is why it seems this energy is always red you. I feel this lack of respect is coming from their fear of having too much to deal with or having too much of a connection with you because they feel like it's going to be too much to let go if they need to because this energy seems like they never truly stay anywhere. Mm. This is someone who somewhat goes from flower to flower or they bounce around a lot. I feel this is why things seem so abusive. This energy is never truly invested. They're always creating situationships because they're blinded by trust. Someone is shocked that you're just not giving in to something. Hmm. And I also feel this energy is just used to breadcrumbing everyone, not just you. However, I do feel many of you need to be commended on how you chose to keep something together. Hmm. Because I feel in so many ways someone was definitely trying to make you feel obsessed or drive you crazy in some type of way. Wow. The obsession didn't work. I didn't really see that card. Hmm. So someone's shocked that you're not obsessed and you're ignoring something. Even after breadcrumbing you, someone wants to know what you're up to. Someone wants to know what you're up to if you're still into them. Even after using you, someone is wanting to low-key reach out to you. Someone's wanting to reach out to you, but after all of the abuse or creating some type of situationship, someone's anxious mindset is definitely getting the best of them. I feel this energy is definitely shocked at the fact that you are not obsessing. Someone is wanting to know what you're doing because this is not like you to not be obsessed or put in the position of avoiding or ignoring them. I feel something you are doing is very necessary and whatever it is, it's definitely starting to agitate them as I sense they could now be dealing with a side of you that they're not used to dealing with. I feel this energy is shocked at the disrespect that they showed you went as far as they did, but someone didn't expect to lose you the way they did in the process. You're coming out as a twin flame energy here, a divine counterpart. Hmm. This is why someone is shocked. Someone never thought that you would move on. Hmm. Or in so many cases here, for many of you, not look back. Someone is blindsided at the fact that you're not looking back. They're shocked that you're not driven crazy. Or they're shocked at the fact that you're not speaking to them. For many of you, there's disrespect because they're immature. Someone's immature when it comes to a soul contract, a close bond. Someone is wanting to know what you're up to or what you're doing because they're not wanting you to get used to being without them. 
but I also feel this energy is learning that the grass is not greener on the other side. Someone thought that something was better out there and I feel this energy had their eyes wide shut when they walked into something that was definitely over their head. This energy was re refusing to see the truth when it comes to foundation, love, or building something solid with you. In fact, this energy was in some type of illusion or fantasy, pretending to be something that they were clearly not. But I feel this energy went into a space thinking something would be better, so they made a choice. Someone made a choice that wasn't solid. Mm. Now they're holding resentment towards you, even though you had nothing to do with it. I feel you had nothing to do with their choices or the fact that they live in a fantasy. This energy is very immature and this is why they tend to disrespect those they should be loving. Mm. So for many of you, this is someone who walked away from you but is also holding resentment for you in some type of way. Someone is telling you they want to be without you or they're moving on in such a way that makes you believe that. But I feel it's all talk. It's all lip service. Someone is not wanting to be without you. And I feel this is why they're shocked. Mm. But I feel for many of you, once they show you who they truly were, you believe them. And now I feel they've become irrational or disrespectful because they're not used to someone like you. This is someone who enjoys manipulating situations, stringing things along. This is why this energy is torn when it comes to you because they know in so many ways they're going to have to fess up, come clean when it comes to mistakes. And this is why something is lingering when it comes to their anger. Someone knows they're toxic. Someone knows they're dysfunctional. This energy was trying to drive you crazy, but I feel in turn they dri they driven themselves crazy. You're dealing with a runner who is always trying to manipulate things, but I feel this is someone who has created an unhealthy connection or they're in one. And this is why this energy is confused about what they should do because they're so used to running, resisting, making a great escape. But I feel this energy has become too dysfunctional for you, toxic non-committal, nothing is serious when it comes to their energy. They always end up shattering or destroying something. I feel for many of you, you feel the damage is done when it comes to someone who is dis dysfunctional or manipulating things, always running. Always running when things get tough or this energy creates tough situations and then just ghosts you. This is sabotage, self-sabotage from someone who is running from the good things in life and creating Havoc. Hmm. I feel for many of you, you ask yourself why you had to deal with this or why things became so complicated. But I feel there's a lesson that needs to be learned when it comes to you. Whatever it is, there's a lesson attached to this. Hmm. There's a lesson when it comes to someone who was toxic and has pulled away from you. Hmm. Whatever it is, they're going to be blindsided by it and they won't see it coming. So for many of you, whatever energy that was given to you is about to be received. So it's going to feel exactly how you felt when you were deceived, sabotaged, when someone made their great escape. There's a lesson to be learned here when it comes to karmic energy, when it comes to being a runner, when it comes to being non-committal or sabotaging things, when it comes to being dismissive and dysfunctional. Hmm. Someone is about to learn some lessons when it comes to the baggage that they have created because there's a lot of hidden truths here when it comes to someone who is hiding behind their lies. I feel this is someone who is very guarded. Mm. This is, you're dealing with someone who whose guard is always up and this is why something is somewhat platonic and many of you are just not dealing with this as a whole. This is someone who has a lot of doubts because of the lies but I feel something is about to hit them from behind or hit them where it hurts because whatever it is, it won't be something they'll soon forget. I feel this is someone who gave into weaknesses and lust and now they could be guarded even though they know they owe you so much more than what was given. Yet I feel in so many ways this energy has given you lip service because they know you told them the truth. But I feel this energy instead they pulled away instead of facing up. 
coming clean when it comes to mistakes. I feel this energy has become all talk, no walk because of their guarded heart or the fact that they're still sitting in some type of fantasy, but I feel in so many ways they have pulled away because they're not ready to deal with the choices that they have made. But as I said before, this runner is about to run right into their karma, where there's only lessons to be learned from the trauma they have caused. Let's get another check out here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. I feel this energy became lip service because they really didn't know how to handle you, so they made some false promises or pretended to be something that they clearly was not. But now that you are no longer invested in the fantasy, this energy has become bitter, irrational, and hard to reach. And for some of you, hard to love. And this is why many of you have chosen to accept the distance or just accept the fact that some people just don't learn. So for many of you, someone is definitely wanting to love bomb you. I feel there is a lot of unexpected things going on in their life. And I also feel there is a lot of conversations going on. And I feel in the heat of the moment, something is coming out that someone didn't expect that they're still playing dumb to. Hmm. So it seems like someone is purposely acting dumb to the fact that they're bullshitting you and they know it. Someone's about to fuck around and find out when it comes to you and your intuition. Hmm. This energy is definitely all in their feelings and they know they use you in some way. Whether that is for your energy or even your resources, this energy is feeding off of you. As it seems, this is someone who thrives off of being in the dark and they come out of the dark to feed off of those who stand in the light. But someone is definitely about to see something for what it is and they may not like it. This energy is definitely in their feelings when it comes to how pity that they're trying to be with you. Something has definitely lost their charm hmm. because they have yet to change. This is someone who has definitely been a headache for you. Hmm because they have been drinking from your cup, taking or feeding off your energy, playing too much, whatever it is. Someone is just not showing up for you and they're draining you. Draining you through lies, mistakes, heartbreak, promises that are never kept. Someone is definitely turning you off with these false promises and false fairy tales and many of you are being guided to do something bigger, different by letting go, not playing a game when it comes to someone who is always playing with you. For many of you, this is someone who is wanting to let go or many of you are wanting to let this energy go or in so many cases, many of you are wanting this energy to finally let you go hmm. because they have already taken so much, given so little. Many of you are tired of dealing with someone who is always wanting to take yeah, I feel this is someone who is deeply concerned. Hmm. They're concerned about what they took from you. They're also concern concerned about dark attachments. This energy is knowing that some of the things that are taken cannot be replaced. But this energy is needing to face you, but not wanting to. Knowing they need to give an offer. This energy is a blank page. They've come up with nothing. This is why many of you are being guided in this season when it comes to someone who has just been toxic. Hmm. So for many of you, this is someone who has been urged or compelled to do something when it comes to you, whether that is an offer or a serious conversation. Someone is being compelled to open up, do more and be more. <laughs> but in so many ways, someone just keep turning up as shit, falling apart, nothing is going their way. Someone's definitely keeping secrets, trying to tap into your energy, but I feel you're in control. You're in control even if they don't know it, because you're dealing with a clown who is sitting in negative energy, but I feel there's more evidence here that has caused many of you to fall back or just not be interested in someone who has failed to be a solution but has been consistent and being a problem. 
I feel for many of you, there's an overwhelming situation here. And for some of you, someone has overheard something. So this could be your energy of hearing something about this energy or someone is hearing something about you. But I feel if this energy is hearing something about you, it's about your come up. It's about you moving forward or the fact that you are not bothered. If this energy is being spoken of, and you're somehow receiving energy about them, I don't feel like it's something that you're wanting or needing to hear because this energy is still playing dumb to what they've done. Mm. Still playing too much when it comes to the facts of life. For many of you, you feel like this energy never takes anything serious and I feel for many of you, you are completely correct when it comes to this energy and what they're all about because this energy is always sitting in a space where they're inconsistent or you're just not really sure what to believe when it comes to them. As I said before, this energy is losing. Losing in many ways because this energy is trapped. So for many of you, you feel like this energy could never be trapped. It's all about mind, body, soul, but this energy is lacking when it comes to soul and body. This energy is giving in to weaknesses when it comes to body. And when it comes to their soul, this energy is not prepared. I feel this energy is trapped because of their secrets and losing sleep because they're worried. They're worried about legal issues. This energy is being a clown because they're detached. So the fact that this energy feels stuck and under pressure because of their secrets, they have come up with a way of silencing their demons or just not really being accountable for what they know they have done. But I feel them suppressing something has caused them to not be happy. I feel this energy is not happy when it comes to family. This energy feels trapped. This energy has a lot of anxious energy when it comes to lies they know they have told and secrets that they know they still keep. Someone doesn't like the fact that they feel blocked out from you. This energy has come out twice in this reading, as well as you being a twin flame. Someone is losing sleep because they know they're not happy where they are, but I feel this energy is lashing out at you for that very same reason, because they know they screwed something up. Someone knows they screwed you over. Someone knows they screwed you over and this is why there's a lack of sleep. But the more they dwell on something, the more bitter they become. This energy believes that you put some type of spell on them when it comes to love. Wow. That's causing them to go round and rounds when it comes to love, sex, because they're getting nothing from it. This energy feels like you curse them because they're going round and round through cycles of reckless love and sex and they're getting nothing from it. This energy feels empty and more desperate the more they try to fill the void. So for many of you, this energy is going round and round doing reckless things and creating heartbreak or going through heartbreak. And for many of you, this is another reason they're leaving you hanging because they're dealing with reckless energy of addictions. A toxic lifestyle for some of you not everyone this energy could be coping by drinking giving into instant gratification mm. things that they are very ashamed of for some of you they're doing something strange with their money or this energy is doing some strange things for money but whatever it is they're starting to realize they can't hide the guilt mm. they're embarrassed Someone knows that they're in the wrong, but they're still making up things to try to distort a view of something. They're still pointing fingers at you. So for many of you, this energy is really going through it behind the scenes. This energy is losing sleep, not because of them not having what they want or losing you. In fact, I feel that's only part of the reason. I feel this energy is ashamed and fed up because they're dealing with a third party that they would rather be without. I feel this energy sees this third party as a psycho, someone who is a crazy energy who is obsessed with them. So like I said before in this reading, someone is getting the same energy as this energy is now dealing with a third party who is now driving them crazy and they won't let go. 
Wow, this is someone who is going through a firestorm, karma, drama. There are endings here, losses, sacrifices. There is mental distress. This is someone who feels like they're going through a breakdown. Someone is also blaming you for the stress that they're going through because you won't come back or you won't hear them out. I feel this energy is going through a firestorm and being illuminated to something that they refuse to see. But as I said before in this reading, someone is going to find out the hard way that you should have never been the lesson. You were always the blessing. I feel this is someone who always wanted things their way. They're selfish, stubborn, arrogant. They are very prideful. This is someone who is very prideful. And even though they're ashamed, someone has a lot of lessons to learn when it comes to third party energies, false environments, or even just trying to have their way through pride and ego. Someone is going through a storm, a firestorm to be illuminated when it comes to truth, discovery, and being woken. Hmm. For many of you, this energy having things their way, someone's being illuminated to something and it just might be too late for change. For some of you, time is running out when it comes to someone who should be in a space of wanting to recover from something with you. Someone should be reaching out by now, but someone's pride is getting in the way. Someone's being arrogant about something. Someone knows that they are wrong, and someone also knows that they created this firestorm with you. They're still trying to cope with some things, even though they're clearly triggered and obsessed when it comes to something involving you. Because this energy truly believes that you've put some type of hex or a curse on their life because they're triggered. They're going round and round in some reckless energies or reckless situations where they're going nowhere, yet they're triggered because they're repeating cycles that keep them blocked from you. For some of you, I feel like you could be getting some unknown calls from this energy. Someone is definitely not wanting to admit that you're right or not wanting to admit that you're the one, and this is why this energy is being upset or angry towards you because they're just not a happy person right now. This energy is not happy but not wanting to admit hmm, that you were the one or you were always there for them. Someone is reckless because they're blocked from you. For some of you, you're not intentionally blocking them. This energy is being blocked by something else. Hmm. Let's get some more energy here. This is someone who has a lot of anxiety. They feel like you're doing something on purpose to bring them stress. They feel like you're doing something on purpose to keep them blocked from their blessings. But I feel them being blocked from their blessings has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them. Yeah, someone definitely showed their true colors by backstabbing you. Mm. Seducing, causing a separation when they should have been soul searching, mirroring the energy that was given. You're coming out as a queen bee, someone who is confident and secure, career focused, someone who is now giving into self love. You have now become their wish fulfillment. But someone is needing to step into a space of truth and discovery and being awakened to a truth. This might be a hard pill someone may have to swallow because they just have to might have to lose you in the process so for many of you someone's true colors of backstabbing you has given them some massive regrets hmm. so it seems someone has some true regrets when it comes to creating a love and hate situation with you because deep down they know they miss you but the fact that you're always bumping heads with each other someone is refusing to give in hmm. wow this painful energy of someone cheating, being deceitful, playing mind games, also love bombing you, and this is why there's confusion. You're not knowing if this energy love or hate you, but this energy just doesn't have a good way of showing what they feel inside because they never had the chance to in the past. As I said, you could be dealing with someone who has always been taught to love under condition, but never unconditionally, and this is why they failed when loving you. Mm -hmm. So I feel like someone misses you, but they still have yet to end the cycle when it comes to karmic ties. They're still wrapped up in something. Wrapped up in something that keeps them in a space of massive regret. Someone is still not illuminated to the fact that they have already shown their true colors when it comes to you. This energy is still a runner. 
So for many of you, this energy is pretending like they're too busy to fix something, but they're not busy. They're not too busy to throw shade or be a critic when it comes to you. But I feel that will be an ending to someone who is running from their problems because as long as they throw shade or this energy pretends to be too busy to see a truth, many of you will continue to turn your back. And I feel in so many ways, you turning your back or accepting the distance it's going to really make them feel like shit because they know they did you wrong for no reason I feel you turning your back is definitely bad news for this energy because they're starting to feel rejected and the fact that you are living in the moment it's really starting to get to them because they do see you as a twin flame but this energy doesn't realize what a twin flame truly is I feel you were meant to be in their lives but I also feel like as a twin flame you were also meant to teach them some real valuable lessons when it comes to the things they have felt to value in this lifetime and one of those things just might be connected to love how they love and who they love and how they choose to go about doing it because this energy is definitely lost when it comes to understanding love should never hurt for many of you this energy is starting to feel rejected and the fact that they're dealing with some kind of some kind of cycle is definitely starting to get under their skin this is someone who is receiving some type of bad news when it comes to a karmic tie hmm. and the fact that they are blocked from your energy is definitely starting to be the last straw as this energy is definitely tied of their own issues but I feel they have failed to realize so many others are going through a pain just because of them as well this is someone who has failed to see something for what it is I feel this is someone who is willing to be unblocked from your energy when they don't even realize the choices they've made has caused the universe to deny their access to you I feel you had nothing to do with it as many of you are only dealing with the hand that you were dealt hmm. So these karma ties are definitely creating obstacles, obstacles where there is no solution. Someone is still triggered by their own fears or the fact that something is unspoken when it comes to skeletons that are in the closet. This energy has a lot of baggage. This energy has a lot of baggage because of what is unspoken. Someone missed a really big opportunity with you because of their choices hmm. and the fact that they sit in a comfort zone. So the fact that this energy sits in a comfort zone lets me know that they're stonewalling you because they can't be authentic with you. As I said before, you're dealing with a runner who is just too comfortable. Hmm. Someone's real precise on what they're choosing not to tell you, but I feel someone's someone was boastful when trying to humiliate a situation, but I feel just as loud as this energy was when it when it comes to their disrespect I feel how they write their wrongs will have to be just as loud as I feel this is someone who couldn't be authentic because they were chasing fool's gold hmm. so it seems someone was chasing fool's gold and this is why they couldn't make amends they were making excuses when it comes to an apology because someone was still invested in a facade they have a lot of trust issues more than they had when they were with you before because someone's very bullheaded mm. this energy is like a light switch they're on and off they're in camouflage this energy's perception is definitely skewed and this is why they're always chasing something that means nothing this is where the drama comes from they always want attention but something is reaching its boiling point when it comes to the yin and the yang. Wow. Someone is definitely reflecting on something, but I feel many of you are manifesting something. So for some of you, it's kind of ironic that you're manifesting something to go well for you. And something going well for you is going to to push something to not go well for them so in some ways you being great does bring this person down mm. and they are overwhelmed but this energy is always always using you as a pawn so it seems someone is definitely overwhelmed by the chaos they have created someone is going to let go of the confusion but they feel shipwrecked stuck they also feel like a castaway 
but I feel if many of you are patient enough, this energy will get caught up in their own mess, their own trap. Third party is coming out as a Venus fly trap, where they may slowly catch their prey, but I feel this is also a push and pull dynamic. Oh, that's causing someone to be under pressure. This is why someone is being arrogant with you, using you as a pawn, playing games, or pretending that you are the reason something failed. This energy is coming out as a trickster, a fraud, someone who is realizing all the cards are falling down. So it seems like someone's house of cards is definitely being disrupted, mm, but I feel this is the price someone is having to pay, someone is paying a toll when it comes to an illusion or a mind game that is starting to haunt them. So for many people, this energy is lacking or they're feeling empty. There's no fulfillment. And I feel they're trying to imprint something. Hmm. Like, I'll take that back. I feel something is being imprinted on them. <laughs> that this might be you. This is very interesting. Hmm. So it seems like someone is paying a toll when it comes to the mind games they try to create. I feel many of you are trying to manifest something. And I feel you manifesting something is about to be, this is what's being imprinted here. Whatever you're in, you're manifesting. Whatever this imprint is, whether this is them knowing not to play with you or someone being imprinted by life lessons, but I feel whatever it is, they won't be able to deny, avoid, exit. There's no easy exit from this. So someone is wanting to avoid something when it comes to an illusion, but in trying to avoid something, someone's going to create an eruption. Hmm. There's some type of volcano or a dark side to someone's ego that's about to erupt because someone's character is in question and someone's wanting to build a bridge with you, but I feel in building this bridge, someone's going to learn some valuable lessons when it comes to boundaries, intimacy, and affairs of the heart. I feel someone may just need a first aid kit after dealing with this. Mm. So for many of you, what it looks like to me, this runner is about to become the chaser. So it seems like someone who was running from you is about to be running towards you. I feel this is someone who still has a lot of desires, but they also feel they have lost control. They feel powerless when it comes to emotions. Someone feels they no longer have that hold on you. In fact, many of you may have become some type of fortress. There is walls up. Your walls are up. And this is why someone feels blocked out. So the wetlands are letting me know someone's definitely in their emotions and if you feel like this energy is retaliating or being petty with you, it's because they're emotional. I feel this energy is hot and cold when it comes to their energy and this is why they're also inconsistent. There's also judgment here. Someone's being judged for what they've done to you. Someone's telling them they are fool for losing you. Wow uncertainty here someone's created a whirlpool of emotions something is taboo and someone's being judged for what they've done someone's being judged for spreading themselves thin spreading themselves thin when it comes to attachments something wasn't even worth it but someone is learning that the hard way when it comes to being fire and ice with you and creating some type of conflict someone created grief disconnect by being withdrawn. This energy sabotaged something with you and now they're feeling defeated and this is why they could be causing some type of issues but I feel in the long run this energy will be the only one left that is still consumed by the pain. For many of you, you had to do a lot to put yourself together here with this first aid kit. It was something serious you had to deal with when it comes to someone who is inconsistent, chaotic, and always bringing some type of heartbreak because of them provoking or trying to bring some type of negative energy your way. But I feel many of you are just not having it. And neither is your ancestors or guys. As I sense your ancestors and guys are protecting you from dangers seen and unseen. But not until your absence is missed will this energy truly respect the connection they want to have with you. But as I said before, there are some lessons to be learned when it comes to dealing with a very foolish energy. Final message here. Final deck, Holy Spirit. Confirmation, please. Confirmation here for this deck, Holy Spirit. Thank you. 
So for many of you, this is someone who didn't really understand what was gone until it was truly lost. Which is why your absence or your silence just might be pivotal or monumental or even a key factor in someone finally getting things right. As I see you no longer making them comfortable, just might make them uncomfortable enough to own their shit and change. As I sense many of you are starting to feel like all of your effort was done in vain you know, or even wasted. When truthfully I feel the last straw in their sacrifices just might be losing you. I feel for many of you there is a separation here. I feel this separation is because of the mind games. There could also be a divorce, marriage, whatever it is. It was supposed to be connected for life. I feel this energy is starting to be jealous because many of you have found a sense of self-worth and they have not. In fact, they're still watching. Watching and waiting because they know something is unspoken, but I feel something is unspoken because they're still trying to keep you attached through illusion. Hmm. But I feel many of you are well aware that you're dealing with a trickster or a fraud that is on the path to learning something the hard way, especially when it comes to blood, sweat, and tears. Someone is definitely in the season of being broken down when it comes to what needs to be forgiven. So for many of you, without forgiveness, there is a separation, there is an ending. But I feel there is a sole purpose here and many of you are getting a gut feeling when it comes to it. So for many of you, you're getting a gut feeling when it comes to a runner. This is what's bringing in a choice. So for many of you, there's a choice when it comes to someone's spiritual awakening. Many of you are just doing your own thing, but I feel you, you doing your own thing is definitely setting a tone. It's setting a purpose. Hmm. Something is happening very soon, in fact, it's divine timing, and Spirit is wanting me to let you know that you're doing a great job by holding things together, and something is about to happen very soon, especially when it comes to whatever you're trying to manifest. Whatever will take place will happen of free will, especially when it comes to someone discovering purpose, soul purpose, discovery of doing something of free will when it comes to an apology. For some of you, you're getting an apology that you didn't see coming. But something is fated to happen. And someone just might be triggered to do something very soon. Hmm. Hoping that you have yet to let go. Someone is hiding something because they're unawakened to the fact that the only way to fill the void is to let you know that they truly miss you. No lies, no secrets transparent energy something is happening very soon when it comes to someone who is stuck or they believe they are but I feel someone is just stuck behind their ego because they're too afraid to chase someone's too afraid to chase you but I feel this runner is going to come out of silence very soon as I says the pain of your guilty conscience will soon get the best of them feeling still not wanting to recognize that they sit in this energy of thinking of you because they want to be closer to you but I feel they have yet to end the cycle and this is why there's pain because they still fear something that they should be letting go but this energy just might be stuck or bound and silent because you won't see something as a misunderstanding so for most of you this energy knows that you're gonna see through the bullshit and this is why they're silent <sighs> Even though they know they're toxic, someone is afraid, afraid to grow. Someone's afraid to grow and this is why they're silent and distant. Someone's on a journey. Someone's on a journey to find their higher self. Because I feel as their guilty conscience begins to creep into their daily thoughts, so will their need to fix what is broken or somehow make things right with you. Yet I sense even if you never know the reason for their pain or even if they change, that anything gained or lost is definitely deserved. But then finally, learning their lessons when it comes to love and loyalty, you and I both know it'll be because of you.